A very beautiful Wednesday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, everybody who's been waiting for this amazing, amazing day. And definitely with me are the Kabus. <laughs> and we cannot uh, start this interview with one thing and one thing alone. Nini? Jabo. Jambo, Jambo, Jambo. <laughs> the Kabus here. <laughs> Yes. Jabo Jabo, the cabos are here. Yes. Sanitize, Jabo. Oh. Sanitize. <laughs> sanitize. Karibu ni sana. Yeah. Karibu sana. Asante. Mm -hmm. Wewe ulichelewa wapi? Nimekungoja hapa, Simon. <laughs> Imagine Sarah mekutangulia pana. Of all the people. Sasa unajua. <laughs> eh, nikuwa nimeenda kwanza kushugulikia ili mpate, mpate hizi. Mamaske. Mamaske. Mbwa nimeenda mkutano kwa... Mm. Kwa factory. Kwa factory. Yo nilikuwa. I saw, yes. I saw, I saw that thing is huge, eh? Very, very huge. <laughs> Na huko meambia Sarati umefugua factory? <laughs> Sarah, you know, <laughs> si kipindi. <laughs> Sarah didn't know about it. <laughs> you know what happened is that me and my boys, mm -hmm. uh, we used to have a, a boys club. Tukua tunatembea, tunakula nyama, nini. Uh -huh. That time, tukaona opportunity. Okay. So we decided why, kwa nini mtu si tafute kidogo tafute kidogo mm -hmm. tukuje pamoja as a team wow. and that's what we did mm -hmm. tukaform ka kitu tukaanza kutengeneza hizi vitu mabags See, and bags see. kuna mabags kuna manini the bags ile unaanga zikitumika kwa supermarket most of them they are talk from my factory and zara auko auko najua all this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay <laughs> actually mm -hmm. i was very mad unajua Sisi wa mama ukisikia tuji na boys club ama ma boys. Uh -huh. You are always mad. Ukisikia naenda meeting na ma boys, I'm always mad. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, whatever they were doing, mm -hmm. like, first I was uh, I was upset about the, the word boys club. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was, I had no interest in what they were doing and I thought, mm -hmm. this, you know, we, we always hear boys clubs uh, to mislead People. men. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yes, so I didn't know, and uh, when I went there, like I was so so surprised. Yes, yes, so uh, congratulations, at least maybe to other ladies. Mm -hmm. It's good to encourage our men because you know, always when we hear they are going to meet boys, uh -huh. we think of bad things can uh -huh. happen. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes these boys can. That, uh, can do big things we should always not think of the bad the other side the other mm. side <laughs> that men can come together and make big moves uh, to this city because you know when you're alone you can only go this far but when you're many you can go further wow, wow. and yes. that was the first time you're going to the factory and yes. seeing masks <laughs> in a tegnezwa, ma, ma bags in a tegnezwa. I was so, so surprised. <laughs> Actually, I, I, like, I, I, I keep feeling I want to go back there again. And, you know, see for real. Sasa bila cameras. <laughs> yeah, so wow. that I can, I can, you know, I can be able to appreciate even, like, I, you know, I just thought a small masks, they are done. You know, like nika kitu kadogo, like Kadi you just need too. a machine kadogo. Ehe. So I'm very shocked to see it's a whole... Nyumba kubwa masks zinatengenezwa. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Simon. Ehe. And you've created so much job for so many youths during this very hard time. Like I know the hospitality industry has been hit very Ehe. hard. Ehe, na kuambia ni kubaya jealous. Mm -hmm. You know, as I'm telling people, when you go out even into a restaurant, at least try to promote, share a photo, tag it, no, not at it to be paid, just to, but to support the tourism and hospitality industry. Because mm. all these restaurants and hotels and travel agencies and anything in tourism, mm. currently they are even not able to meet their operating costs. That's true. You, you know, like mm. all these five-star hotels we are seeing mm. in Nairobi, mm -hmm. You can imagine you have 200 rooms and maybe only 10 are occupied. You can imagine. The 10 rooms cannot even pay electricity bill. So we, we, are, we, are, we are telling people, that's why some have decided to close until the situation the is, is, is contained. Wow. So the, the few that have opened, mm -hmm. it's good. We, we all support. support them because now if all restaurants close, Tomorrow when you want to go out, where, wow. will, you where go? will you go? I was just thinking uh, about it, yes. eh? Simon, eh? Yes. Mm. how 
oh, vitu zimekuwa mbaya yes. where mm. let's say that i was traveling mm. going for a holiday in mombasa yes. number one, the taxi guy mwenye anakupeleka mu, kwa airport yes. mwenyewe ayuko unajua mm. Mm. ukifika pale kwa airport mm. unapata kama E, watu watatu wa nne peke yao ndio mm. pale kwa operation. Yes. Ukifika ndani ya ndege mm. watu wame, we, wenye wamefukuzwa kazi pale kwa ndege yes. ni wengi. Yes. Unafika Mombasa inafaa mm. mtu wa mtu akupokee pale yes. unapata huyo mwenyewe pia unaambiwa alifunga yes. unafika kwa hoteli unapata kama pale inakuwa na security yeah. wamebaki yeah. mtu gapi mmoja yes. alafu mm. you get into a hotel unapata mm. sio employee au closed mm. the spa has been closed only mm. one restaurant is working yes. please 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 go out there travel and make sure that you know what you support hotels mm -hmm. yeah ta ta take a photo and tag them mm. encourage other people that it is safe something i have noted do you know the hotels are safer than hospitals? I've visited, of course, the big hospitals of late. You'll find that hot hotels like have automatic sanitizers mm. that you don't even have to, to touch. Mm. To touch. Mm. You go to hospitals, you're touching. Now, you know, <laughs> yes. So, so when I see what is happening in hotels mm -hmm. and hospitals, mm -hmm. hotels are very much safer. And they are using, unajua most hotels kuizi ukifika pale kwa reception, mm. kuna kikitu wapo ina kupiga dawa mwili mzima. Dawa mzima, yeah. Ata kwa hospitali, I've not seen some where you are <laughs> yes, going, unapigwa una dawa. So watu waende kwa hotel. <laughs> yeah, watu watembe, it's safe. <laughs> and talking about hotel, definitely <laughs> we <laughs> are live <laughs> from Miali. Kenya's best, best restaurant and dining place. Make sure that you come to Miale and enjoy some of the foods that they make here at Miale. Like, I'll just quickly ask you, what's your favorite food, Simon? Uh, lamb chops, naikue. Well done. Lamb chops, well done. You? Yes. Chicken wings na kapilipili kidogo. Kakayole. Chicken wings na kapilipili ka, 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 kidogo. Mbali kidogo. Ka, mbali. <laughs> Kwa mbali kidogo. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Miale. Is the place to be mm. anytime you want uh, to come and rest and have a good time. Simon, the story about the Kabuz is a, an inspiring story, a story of love, a story of a brand, a story of partnership in business, a story on how you and your wife can actually work together, and a story on how couples can build each other. Most of the people out here always say, ah, mimi siyezi fanya kazi na bibi, oh, bibi atajua hi, ji bibi atajua hi, I can only do it alone. Kabu Simon, yes. where did you meet this beautiful woman? <laughs> Now, <laughs> my story, my, my sweetheart here, <laughs> yes, uh, we met at Kastori Kango. Mm. I first want to, to take you a little back. Kidogo to, take us, please. Yes, Kidogo to in, 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 I was born somewhere in uh, highlights of Mount Kenya mm -hmm. from a humble background. Was a peace and farmer and retired civil servant. Mm. Then, then from there, me and Nikwa and Shule, Bila Viatu. Alafu tunabeba ash, jalashu kubeba ash. Awe unasema nini? Wewe? Ash hile, unabeba una kumekorogewa chini. Alafu kubeba ash na maji. Na uchini. Yes, because musipate zile jigas. Dutu. Yes, hizo <laughs> sasa. <laughs> That's how nilikuwa. Ukiangalia huku migu zangu, nikuwa na zile kugongwa na zile <laughs> zile kwa Unasema wewe, angalia, angalia lama nikonazo gapi kutoka ushago. <laughs> So, mm. after that, I used to be very brilliant. I kind of in a provincial school. Mm. And, uh, and uh, after that, I performed well. I went to Egerton University. Okay. Nikiwa huko, that's where now the vitu zileza kufanyika. My parents at one particular point could not afford uh, college fees for me. Nikiwa that year. Okay. So, I had two options. One, niacha masomo. Secondly, I go out and hustle and go back to school. I, I chose the latter. You decided to go and hustle and yes. come back to school. Then, I had a relative who was Route 44 Car West. I had a relative who was in the Kibadaski Hotel. I had a hotel Kibadaski. Kukanda unga ya mandazi. Ile kupika. Yalash ni kupikia mandazi. Zile zime fura hivi na wazina kitu ndani. You know, so nilikuwa nafanya na chapo. Na chapo. Mzuri sana nyororo tamu hizo. Ehe. Nikafanya kazi hivyo. Kwa kibanda? Yes. Kibandaski. Kibandaski. Kibandaski kabisa? Mijo nilikuwa nalipuwa pesa ngapi? Ah. 25 shillings per day. 25 shillings? Because napewa food. Ehe. 25 more per day. Na unalala kwa hoteli dani? Yes, unalala hapo. Ya hapo hiyo nilikuwa. Hapo kwa hiyo kibanda. Kwa hiyo kibanda. Kwa hiyo kibanda hote. Wanalalaga hapo ndani hoteli. Kwa sababu wa subui. Yes. Lazima mkwe tayari. Four. Four. 
nikiwa hapo makanga wale walikuwa because makanga walikuwa wanakula hapo wakanote sio jamaa ana reason in a different way yeye tu wako ina you know ninaelewa maneno <laughs> maneno mingi tu <laughs> so akaanza kuniambia niaje si nishikie akikula sasa si unipatie si unipakie wadhi hapa ni mjazie <laughs> gari sasa ile ya yeah. sasa nikaanza kujaza tu gari kujaza napati, tu napatiwa 20 bob ile tio beba beba tao yes, tao, tao sasa akikula sasa kwa gidhurai tao e, e, sasa ah nikahawe sasa kawe beba gidhurai mamani hivyo mm. hivyo hivyo rwesambo sasa nikiwa hapo sasa wakaanza kuniambia niaje siwe unchukulie wadhi kuchukua wadhi ni ati anakula hapa sasa unajua gari haisimami so unaenda unaenda kuchukua wadhi utamletea kama imejaa sasa nikupatia blue sasa mbao hapo uko mbele kama mfuko wa shati what sasa after that niaje ni, sasa wakaona yenyewe naenda nikiendelea Waka, sasa nikapewa nika gadi sasa nikiwa midia makanga wake na rauka nayo eh hey, wewe ujui raha watu <laughs> haogei kwa mtaa <laughs> Niko na dinga yangu sasa midie makanga nasema sasa ukawacha kupika ye yeah, sasa unajua acha wewe ni makanga ah, sasa sasa wewe sasa ni try niko hapo sasa wewe ni bibi ya makanga <laughs> me i never thought, dreamt of that i came to know about that much later yes. ati umeolewa na makanga <laughs> imagine <laughs> kama ninge choose alafu jambo ya mangaka wacha nikwambie ni tamu eh. kuna pesa kuna wanawake unajua siku hizo nilikuwa na, na damu moto oh, hey, damu moto sasa hebu niambie kuna eh. madem eh. na kuna pesa sara 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 cheza chini cheza chini hiyo ni siku hizo okay wacha wacha fanye fanye na i'm also learning something new wacha nisikize imagine imagine nilikuwa na feel kama sitaki kurudi kampu Wa niko na do sasa hiyo ninalipwa so tano kwa siku. Unajua nilikuwa nalipwa 25 25 per day na sasa nilipwa so tano. Alafu sasa hapa watu wa wako. Hivyo tu nikaendelea nikaponuta sasa nikakuwa dere. But baba then nikarudi de, dere unalipwa thau. Wow. Hebu imagine thau kutoka 25 bob. But I chose to go back to school because that was my vision. Ningekubali ningekaa kwa makata sasa maybe ningekuwa dere route 44. So after that sasa nika nikatoka nika nikatoka sasa nikamaliza kampo nikakuja the first job i got i got because i went back to umak yani stories za umakanga i went back wa driver 44 nikiwa hapo nikabeba jamaa moja tulikuwa kana ye kampo sasa wakati before niende ni defy masomo nikamuliza ni aje unafanya job wapi kanaambia nafanya brookside nikamuliza mko na job because i i i had in kwa na hiyo vision ya kufanya job hali kulingana ile kitu nimesomea because nisomea economics marketing and statistics so kaniambia ni aje siyo apply nika apply na nikachukuliwa job so that how i started nilitoka kwa umakanga na udere after that sasa nikaenda niki grow nikwambie eh, jarash ukiona maziwa asubuhi <laughs> kwa duka ile uko hapo kwenu unjue kuna mtu amelala aki deliver that's the job nilikuwa nafanya nilikuwa na degree delivery yes delivery na degree sai unaona hizi ma biceps ni juu ya hiyo kuinua hizo vitu cha <laughs> ma great pale hiyo ndio sasa nili, nilipata juu hapo bibi ya delivery man acha tu sara wewe ulitoka wapi oh, okay. ni wapi nini shule ah, okay <laughs> So for me I, will, I usually say my story is not for like rags to riches. Mm. I was brought up in the outskirts of Embu town, a place called Blue Valley. Watu wa Blue Valley mko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, huko kwa kina Dennis Tumbi. <laughs> yeah, so that's where I was born and brought up. Uh, my dad was a banker, uh, but my mom was a housewife come farmer. Uh, so I grew up there went to St Michael Primary School Embu then the Gaya girls then I came to Nairobi Kenya School of Professional Studies mm. I think it's currently part of Mount Kenya, Mount uni- Kenya University, University. Yeah. yeah so that, that that was my schooling um yes and then I started working I only worked to uh, in two places an audit firm and an architectural firm uh so i uh, like maybe some of my business skills i learned from observing how my former employers were doing it but it had nothing to do with tourism wow yes so it is true yes good girls love bad boys 
Yes, <laughs> good girls love bad boys. Now, when I get, met him, he, he was already now like somewhere. So, <laughs> and he did not give me his history she, that eh. he was once a Makanga. Mm. Uh, when I was in college, I always used to wonder why beautiful girls mm. are going out with Makangas. I would never imagine myself going, sorry, <laughs> no offense, mm. uh, but I had never imagined myself that. I would be associated with them. So when I came to learn, we were already, I think, even married. He did not tell me. I will come in your box. Yeah, he did not tell me the history. Yeah. So, so, so uh, okay. This is a girl from him doing very well. Uko ko audit farm. Where uko ko ma delivery uko. Where did you guys meet? Now. So after after Brookside ni kinda tuzo on promotion, then I went to Unga Limited. I was in charge of Wow. Vika. Mwingi, Garisa, Kuteremka Ivo, eh, Mombasa, mm. Ukuja Hivi, Ukambani Yote. That was my... You are the sales rep there. Yes, the region. So nikuwa na pick up ya unga. So Ivo. But before that, nikiwa tuzo nilikuwa nikona nduthi. Mm -hmm. Yes, see, see ya boda. Mm. Ah, nikuwa nafanya job na ayo. So mm. usi mistake. Yeah, kudelivery sasa. Yes, Ivo. So after that, sasa wakati sasa nikona pick up. Sikuwa na beba unga, nikuwa na kuangalia maduka. Now, tukiwa hapo, that is the time sasa... Uh, ni, I found myself ni kwa a Google group. Google group then was like a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Saizi. So to go to know about a young professional group uh, that was being moderated by Robert Alai. Sasa. <laughs> ah, <yes. laughs> okay. <laughs> Saizi group ya Robert Alai. Yes, you are to lead you. Robert Alai del quad main. Yes. Okay. Sasa to go to know about anything and everything. Okay. One thing is that uh, to kiwa hapo, Kuna vile ulikuwa, we had not met. Mm -hmm. So there were many people, some abroad, about relationships, jobs, mm -hmm. kila kitu, politics. politics. Mm -hmm. Sasa, people asked, why can't, we have never met the, as this group, why can't we meet? So, kukabiwa, watu wachagwe, some people to organize this team building. Because of the way Sarah was, uh, you know that hiyo group likuwa na watu different. Kuna watu likuwa na ongea juwa hii, na siyasa na nini. Because of the way she was, uh, uh, she was talking in a very sober way. Mm -hmm. Akachaguliwa amangins mutu wa kuchukua pesa. Nuju we have never met. Mm -hmm. Na mimi na watu wengine tu kachaguliwa watu wa kuorganize. So because of the way we were responding in a good way kwa group. So we organized something uh, at team building. We went to Lukenya mm -hmm. where it was very successful. Then we posted photos on Facebook. The people who had not attended asked, why can't we do another one? We were told... The, the people who had done the first one organized the second one. We went another one to Naivasha. So that's how now, that particular time, I want to give you one secret. Uh, I had a business card, and that is what made me win, Sarah. Hey! Card here! Card, <laughs> card too! Yes. Um, Umenu me print too? Hey, wajen <laughs> mabia kitu. <laughs> Those guys who are single, <laughs> when you go some, right now Najuan, it's a digital era, <laughs> but kuwa analog, mm -hmm. print some, card ni kama shilingi. See, you have five bob, five bob. It is an investment. Uh -huh. You know, Jarashi ni kikupenda, I'm, I'm just giving an example. Mm -hmm. If I cannot, I might be for, not be forced to ask you a number, ni uh -huh. But if I give you a card, if you have interest, you will call me. Many people lose those opportunities because utashidu u boy ama u girl nitamulizaje namba. Namba yake. Print a card. That Mwami. card will can make a lot of impact. Sasa ni card ndio ikamuingiza box. Yes. Come. So nilipatia watu kadhaa card because yeah. hata mimi I was eligible na nilikuwa bachelor but hustler. So nikapatia watu kadhaa card so nikaongea ongea na kadhaa na nikajipata niko na what happened the third sasa wakati tulifanya this third one. <laughs> I've ever said this. <laughs> so you are lucky to have known <laughs> that secret. <laughs> Nika Jipata, <laughs> the other people got busier. Uh -huh. we, because all of us, we were, we were working. Uh -huh. You know, this thing we were organizing for free. For free. Uh -huh. So what happened is that other people got busy. Because we were obvious, it was obvious. But at one particular point when we went to the, the Naivasha one, there was a person who was a banker there. Akatuliza, can you do team building? We said yes. Yes. So... Where I was working, I had found myself doing a lot of team building as a facility, as a, as a participant, not as a facilitator. So I knew kufanya coconut. Mm -hmm. So to kafanya a team building, Mimi Nasara. We found ourselves doing a team building for this group. For this group, Mimi Nasara. So when we did, we went to Longonot. It was very successful. Then Wakatuambia, 
we, we thought it was 30k. They wanted to pay us. Tukwabia si mtume na mpesa. Kasema hapana, we are corporate. Wapi invoice? Hatuna invoice. Wapi sijui bank account? Hatuna. <laughs> so they told us you have to make an invoice and a bank account. So tuka search. that particular time I remember, uh, we had gone to Masai Mara to check where we will take people. Because after that, post-selection happened. So after that... Eat time, brother, I'm dating. Ah, we are not dating, by the way. Hata si muangali. Tunakaka assistant, na. Yes. Hata tukienda. When we went to Mara, we equanized that cab. We slept in different tents. Sinu kweli. Sayo, my mina katu ivo. Na ile baridi ya mara. Na sema tuni sawa tu. Na sema tuni sawa. Hapa. So... We formed a company since what were we did. Because that's how the, the name Bonfire was coined. That lady called us at night. That particular time go to a beer. Muli form account. Muli form muli pata account. Then that time uh there was a bonfire. We asked her, what will bring us to, uh, here together? There's the name Bonfire was coined from there. We searched the name uh from Sharia House, then it was available. Then to Kawadika uh Adike Bonfire Adventures. We stayed with that check for like three months because the protocol of opening a bank account, they were very strict. Siju lazima ulete, siju what, what, what. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that. Yeah, so after that, then the company was formed. But by default, we had to form Sisi Watawa Wheelie. That's how the company came into, into being. Wow. And we didn't have anyone, by the way. So we didn't have So at this time, yeah. we have Bonfire, yeah. but it's just a company you guys have formed. Yes. From a trip that you people organized for people. Yes. And you people are not dating. And mumeji pata na check three months. Yes. Then to me form company. Nasasa ko unajua sasa. Kitambo opening a bank account was a was a nightmare. Kuliko unaenda kule kiyare kuchukua pin unakuta a crowd of people. Getting a pin could take you like like maybe a whole month. You know unaenda ama you have to. Almost sleep over I'm there. Broker too, up Na yes. kumeja, I'm a broker, you don't know the right one. Hey. So but after now me pata pin na VAT, now mm. kuna another nightmare. Sijui mm. ati you had to to get to recommend to get three people who have accounts without bank to, to, to write for you a letter of recommendation. So when you go to approach somebody, you know you are a nobody and you are telling somebody that you recommend me to join your bank, one of kidney loan una omba or something. It was a nightmare. Things but have it, changed. Yeah, but now things, things have, have really, changed. Really yes, changed. Yes, yes, yes. Things have really changed. Yeah. Wow. Then, then, then. Because I come to sasa tukifanya kazi pa moja. We, we, we didn't have an office, but I had a relative who had a desk in Tau. So ni kamuliza. Akwa na itume kusi. He was working in a bank. Ni kamuliza. Can you be? Una i desk kwa nazo kuwa natumia. Can you be yes? I'll be paying ten k per month. I had a laptop and she had a laptop. So ni kaza tu kaza sasa tu kai make like office arrow house. Then. Sasa, kulikuwa kulikuwa na watu wengine hapa. Sasa, tuki, eh, tunakuja, because me, I was traveling a lot, yeah, lunch time, anakuja kumit, kama kuna mtu wana meet. We didn't even have a receipt book. I remember one, that one, that I think it's Shahid, who made us to take a receipt book. We didn't have, tukua tunataka kuchukua pesa na impesa. Katobi, apana, me, I cannot pay like that. So, tukachukua tuka receipt book ya nakuma, tukapiga muhuri. That's how now system started. So, Sarah, nikaza kumuangalia, sasa tuki. That is one hell of a story. <laughs> Thank you. That is one hell of a story. Nasara <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and now, I yeah, I think Nilingia box because also my time had come. You know, I, I was I, I think I had just turned thirty. Mm -hmm. You know, when when I was in my twenties Nilikuwa na Maringo, maringo sana na Nilikuwa mm -hmm. na sle ku kuliko awa wana wenye wenye wana nitu singi apa ati si jui poti si jui nini. <laughs> <laughs> so, at a, like I had dreams of, you know, yani mtu anguvu, mtu amana. But sasa when you find umefikisha 3-0. Mm. Pressure uh, naza kuingia. Yeah, you, you, you have to settle for someone. Mm -hmm. So maybe... So uli settle kwa sababu time ilikuwa mefika. The time ama, ama ni, ni ile tumipenda. Ni mapezi pia. Ebu saiba kwa Ebu saiba <laughs> leo. Ni mapezi <laughs> saiba time. Of course it was so many things combined. Uh, eh. But maybe there are things I liked about him. Mm. First he was intelligent. Uh, I'm telling you, I don't know whether I'm intelligent or not. But reasoning with somebody who had brains, it can be... 
it can be frustrating. Very, yes. Yeah, so I like the way he he was smart. Uh, then he was charming. You know, I you know I hate boring. Even people. now, I hate boring stuff. You know, that's why I'm, yeah, that's why I really love my my career or my job because it is fun, 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 fun. Mm. Yeah, and of course, you know, so many. He was no. I would not say he was Mister Perfect. All I all I had thought of. You know, we all all young girls think of tall, dark, and handsome. Mm. He may not have qualified in everything, but at least the, the, the important things he had qualified. And uh, I have no regrets. Uh, I think even if I would choose again... <laughs> you still choose Simon. I would still choose Simon. I, I, I sometimes even... Yeah, sometimes actually I feel scared. Like if I had married my... Exes, where would I be? Eh. You know, like when I think of it, I, I get scared and eh. I tell God, <laughs> 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 You know, side to Mezeka, we are in our 40s, so what any was there, but I wish them well and I thank God that <laughs> I did not left. end up with you. <laughs> 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 when you're getting married at 30, of course, you've met many people from, mm. from 20 to 30, of mm. course, you have met people <laughs> yeah <laughs> but <laughs> but of <laughs> course yeah <laughs> but uh, of course i was a good girl unasikia si ati to remit leo na kesho niko kwa kitanda yake i was a good girl so most of them it was just wow it was it required a relationship with boundaries <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes wow. very 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 yes. nice wow that is what we're talking about then now things have moved from this guy baka juzi amekuletea range rover <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Eh. Hey, actually, uh, this is this the dress I was wearing. On and I'm day. telling you, mm. thank God, I didn't have my phone on that day. Mm. So I got to see the trolls like after, like after a day. Because mm. things happened, to be frank, I, I wasn't aware. And by the time... Like like things moved of nini nini like there were so many series of events. I went home two a.m. I woke up the next day ten a.m. By the time I put on my phone, it was two p.m. So all, all that was being trolled, I didn't see. I found very long threads. Yeah, but people people judged. But uh, for me, I was happy. Thank you so much. And they even gave conclusions why Sijui he bought me the Range Rover. For me, uh, he knows. Uh, okay, we we don't have to. <laughs> no, what happened? No, we we don't have to tell the public our private stories. But mm -hmm. now sometimes it's good to tell them. Mm -hmm. The reason he bought the Range Rover is because I wanted an upgrade of our home to a home in Runda. So he felt we should not b move to our current home from mm -hmm. uh, which yes. is a, which is a very beautiful place too yes he he's still at very attached to it but for me i was feeling like i need a better place mm. so now when it, it brought yani to the kwana mvutano kali sana cuz so, i so badly wanted that house the owners of that house you know i even went ahead and they did a sale agreement and everything and he refused to sign. So I was so, so mad, so frustrated. I, I even moved out for some time. So uh, to, to cool me down and make me Aye. feel happy, Aye. he bought me there. <laughs> 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 you know what? <laughs> when I told Churchill, we were in, we were in Kericho, mm -hmm. uh, Churchill for Kericho, mm -hmm. that particular, I told uh, Churchill and Eric, the guy of, of Nina, I told them, I want to surprise my wife with the Range Rover. You know, they, they thought it was a joke. I took a bet. Churchill too, Moja. You see, I, I did that because, you know, if you have someone you are able to pull the same place, mm -hmm. same way. Mm -hmm. There are some other people, Mutu wana pull west, Mugine east. Yeah. Sarah supports me 101%. Wow. She's there for me. 
yani sometimes and she is a very very hard and a smart person kufanya kazi sometimes she works even may very many hours so i felt this is my wife see at hatu wachani na tunaendelea tu sivyo there's what she wanted but i didn't want for whatever reason i didn't want to move from that house because i felt i was so much attached to it and watoto wangu ni wadogo so i thought what can i do to make sure and before that every time i knew she she had loved she loved ridge rovers so every time we tata to drive akiona ridge rover anasema hey that that my car that's my car even na sasa hiyo sijamunulia so nikaona what is this i can surprise her with so i went and i did that then nikamuletea that particular day it was her birthday i first uh, did something in the office a birthday in the office so that ajue afikirie hiyo ndio birthday yake ya hiyo siku na imeisha yes then even her sister who they, they were very close they are very close i didn't tell her but nikamuita akuje lunch and i called my sister tukaka hapo nikaweka nilikuwa nimeweka cameras at one particular point my sister karibu achome anaona ka camera kako pale anasema kuna watu wanatumulika na camera so hajuni yani ni camera kale kale kani ni kale automatic kakopa pale kwa meza fika hapa anauza kale ka camera ni kanini anamwambia ai mimi hata sikaoni epo angalia pale so when the driver came hata yeye alikuwa hakuwa anajua ati she didn't have an idea you know wow. what my life i like surprises na every day and i continue doing that she will never know because life is just full of surprises that's true so so that musibwane mm-hmm. you know me i work with her in the same office you work with her we are at home together yes tuko hapa together <laughs> we go for holiday together ebuni ya baby don't surprise us tunaanza ku tunaanza kuitana sis yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> wow and you guys have traveled the world together yes your favorite destination mm-hmm. okay uh, to be frank Like where I so badly want to go now is Dubai. Mm-hmm. But of course every destination is unique in its own way. So it depends with what you're looking for. So maybe it could be Santorini. Yes, when I want a very romantic getaway. Mm-hmm. Uh maybe what, like now if I'm t- uh, told book your next anniversary where do you want to go mm. i would choose paris and santorini okay. you know why uh, cuz those are the two places i have seen you know like i thought we love each other or i thought so popperas show us how to love but when i went to santorini oh my god couples we made a mistake we carried our kids that's not a destination to carry your children mm. so the couples were so 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 madly enough you go to walk to a corridor you find couples just hugging kissing cuddling you're in the dining for dinner uh, which the dinings are set in very romantic moods every couple is you know like it's so madly in love hata when a waiter comes to bring maybe the next course how are only they are so busy cuddling so that is a destination that that will make you as if you're not in love when you're walking in the streets like also the streets of paris everybody who like most couples go holding hands then people like the parisians are used to complimenting couples oh lovely couple so so yani munajikumbuka so when you go there and you find you're not holding hands you know like walking holding hands munakumbuka ai kwani sisi tuko like tuko wa shamba ajama kwani sisi we are not in love so you find yourself holding hands as soon as we land back tunarudi tu watu wamewachana unaweza kumuita we we yeah so sometimes it's good to go to those romantic destinations to be like to re- rejuvenate your your love or mm. to reignite your love mm. Uh, even our kids when when we came back from there they were always telling us mommy hold hands you know what mm-hmm. and then so so that's a good destination why i like dubai is because of the you know the architecture everything every, is new every day every mm-hmm. new it shows you of the future like this is how our future should be so because of the futuristic aspect of dubai mm-hmm. like i always want to go back and see what's new in dubai what's new in dubai mm-hmm and uh, like that's a destination like i go every year you know like every year i have to go to to dubai, to dubai. but now when you want to, to like a beach uh, destinations mm-hmm. uh i like uh, mauritius mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so why I like Mauritius. First, it's very clean and beautiful, uh, the whole island. Uh, then, um, like, they have big, big, uh, like, international brand of hotels. Okay. So, it like, the been. last time we were there, we were at St. Regis. I still remember, like, I, I was not able to take the last course of my my desserts. Mm-hmm. You know, chakula unaletewa ni kama imetengenezwa na computer. Si kama imepikwa na watu. <laughs> 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 yes, so... So so I I miss Mauritius and I would want to go again and again to those big like you know they are not like our Mombasa hotels mm. they are very like they are very international mm. yeah so you feel like you feel you in a beach hotel you know you are having all good unakumbuka pia ile ilikuwa na golf resort in in the ocean wow sijui ni gani yeah but she but loves my wife. I loves, love loves fine, good things. F- fine things. Fine things. Fine dining. Mm-hmm. Fine things. Uyo ni yeye. Mimi naenda anga kukula matumbo na pale kwa mama nani. Yeah, yeah, Shangri-La <laughs> Mauritius. Yes. Yes. Uh, si Shangri-La, sijui inaitwaje, but it has a golf course in the ocean. Wow. Very good. Unaenda kwa hoteli it's full of billionaires from all over the world. Wow. Yes. And, alafu, so, as, as, as she says mm-hmm. about about billionaires the people interact with determines who you are the people Delash. you interact with determines who you are mm-hmm. most people uh the whatever whoever you interact with your boys or whoever it is or, or your friends determines uh who you are if you try if you get someone who is someone who is lower than you will always try to pull you down down mm-hmm. someone who is higher than you will try always to uplift you up. and jalash now as, as as we are talking cardinally here you know about uh, internet, and that's why I try to inspire the young people. Mm-hmm. Internet never forgets. What does that mean? Sometimes when you, even you, you are an employer, and you know, when we are doing even interviews, we go do background check and you check, you mutu online. Yule mutu anatukananga online. You might lose an opportunity because of what you say. Yeah. How is your email? Email address too can make you lose an opportunity. Mm. Ebunyabi, you have someone you are, you are giving a you, you are giving a deal mm. of ten million. Mm. Big booty at Yahoo.com. Yes, I mean I mean I mean sweet sixteen at Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people might try some few details, details, but everyone checks those few details because it's a matter of trust. Mm-hmm. You know, when I don't know you, mm-hmm. there's what I look. The first instance will be able to to, to give me your indication of who you are. Who you are. And people should know that your pseudos are connected to your IP address. So whatever you are doing online can be can, can always be, be known. Can you be can even a phone number? Even your phone. Even number. a phone number. Yes. You, you know, and that that's what I think I want to encourage people, especially the young people. Mm. Like now, 20, 2020 has taught us a lot of things. Mm-hmm. As we had, we said earlier, hospitality were being affected so much. Yeah, makasiriko. Mm-hmm. You know, you you need to be to think what if this happens. And sometimes, jala shwata ni Some things are about they are godly, not necessarily about human. Godly means is that uh, is that you don't have. Since we furaisha kila mtu, we agreed. Kila furaisha mtu uza ice cream, but people will. If the f- ice cream, si yes, eh. but I, I, I want to I want to tell you and this ticket to the bank that people uh, when you you the the fruit that, the tree that has many fruits do you not be wrong and wow. that is that's encouraging even you mm-hmm. you find people talking 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 it is okay if people don't talk about you jealous means you are nobody if people talk about you means you are Doing somebody. Stuff. Yes, and that, that's what I always encourage my wife. Namambia, what we can do as young age, yaku. The people who are talking about you, they are building you. They are those they, as they talk about you, they, you get blessings, godly. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. Mm. Like Juzi, I was insulted, sana, sana, sana on the internet. <laughs> what is this worst thing that you've ever been told about yourself? Okay, I I think I keep getting body shamed. Uh, uh, people tell me that. I need to bleach myself, as in I have money, I, I need to bleach myself. So that is the troll that I've seen so much since the Range Rover days, three years ago. Then also I need to take my stomach, hukunyuma. <laughs> so I don't know, but uh, to be <laughs> frank, uh, for me, I am enjoying to age grace-free. 
I, I admire the people who are ahead of me, from my mother to also the people who are just ahead of me. And I am like, I appreciate myself as I am. And uh, that's why I even tell people about my age. Many people are not comfortable to tell mm -hmm. about their age. Nairobi, yes. <laughs> our, our pity, our so, pity. So, so, so for me, oh, the reason I shout my age is because yeah. that's what was Yanze Kuona Kama, we are age mates. You know, mm -hmm. you are 26 years. Mm -hmm. And you are here. Uh, and you're here, yeah, you're here abusing a 40. We are not age mates. You are somehow almost like my daughter. So you need to give me my, my respect. respect. Yeah, so so that's why I, I have to tell them that. And I think at my age, 40 years, starting to to reshape my body, I think it is madness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, I am happy to age grace free, mm -hmm. like your mothers. I don't, I don't think your mothers were made kwa tumbo wakipeleka kwa matako. So for me, I am, I am, I am, I am enjoying to age Sanitize. 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 And uh, not everybody is perfect. Yes. And mm. not everybody was born to want the things that <laughs> that you want them to be. Yes. You understand? <laughs> yes. Gine, Simon will go to Ongea na Simon before. Mm. Sasa gine, Simon ananiambia na anangalia mutu, mm. anamtuka na uko. Mm. Na sema, ye, si ugekuja tu hata ufanye kazi hapa. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know. Si, si ugekuja tu, badela kutukana, si utume CV yo time yako, mm. ye nyi unatuka na nanalo. So, mm. type to CV, type CV. Uh, dear bonfire, yes. Yes. Mm. yes, come and I'm also good in this. Yes. Yeah, you understand? Mm. So, what's the worst things that people have told you about uh, yourself or uh, on internet? Because it's a war you people have been fighting mm. for a very long time. We have fought, maybe before Simon talks, or maybe one thing I would like uh, to tell people. What I know is successful people pull others up. Yes. Jalango, you will never see me on the internet trying to bring someone down. But unsuccessful people try to pull others down. So I'm here, they are trying to pull me down. One thing they need to understand, for me, like all that you see about me, Si ati yata nilikuwa nimepangia. Yani, you know, unaonanga zile unaita mambo za mungu. Mm -hmm. Like the other day we were being trolled, then all of a sudden, we even had to go to depart Wageni. Like, even our staff had to work, like, until midnight. 50 sa vehicles. Sa sa some even didn't around. sleep because it was, like, we are being trolled. And then the business is becoming overwhelming. You cannot understand those things, two things because you expect to be trolled and there is no business. Mm. But you get trolled and then the business like doubles or triples because you know we had to reduce our st staff during the COVID, COVID season. So COVID. Unakuta, you are understaffed and you have so many. We had to recall back our staff on that. Okay. I, I think Rudini, Rudini, Kazi, so, Rudini, Kazi. Yes, so what, I, what, I, uh, what I've come to learn out of those trolls that we keep getting online mm. is that our business is not like, like Mali Unaona Tumefika is not because of our hard work or smartness. It's God. like God's favor. Ama kuna kitu mungu, maybe God is using us to achieve something. something. I, 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 yes. I, I think to say what uh, Jalash had asked, I think what I feel, what I think people, uh, people, uh, I think that what, what they tell me is that maybe I should, uh, what Sarah do people tell me about me? Wewe tuni masleku inu wanaku DM. Sasa diyo yu anasema. Ni mwachi yaka vitu zingine anasema. Sanitize diyo yu. No, na mina mulizanga. Kitu mzuri, utakosaje kudiemi yona watu. Hey, by the way. See, it is normal. Na mwabianga, na tunaziangalia zingine. Hey, choko sile queen wote. Sara na waonata. Tokeni kwa diemi ya saimo. Ya, mtu watengeneze wake. Watengeneze wake. Ampeke mzuri. Sura ikuwe soft in you. Ha, ha. Yes. Sa azili alikuwa bilo wakakitu, wata ata wakuwa na muangalia. Sa hii sasa ndio wanataka kumuangalia. But 
to be frank hata akakuja kununulie hiyo Range Rover to be frank utaweza kuifuel utaweza kuipeleka service sauti yako iko juu sana sarasa huko volume why i like about volume volume why i like about sara she is very assertive and i like about her is protective of me yes and you know utaki unataka mtu anakuprotect na una feel yenyewe niko na niko na mtu and she and whatever has one of the reasons that I, why so, sorry i know where we are it's because of mm. partly because of her mm -hmm. it's a combination because we complement each other na tunafanya nga vitu together wow and one thing i like to i like to say jalash naona sasa jalash tv inaendelea vizuri mm -hmm. na ukitaka she has nitanunua hiyo mm -hmm. sasa ninakwambia tu ukitaka tu niweza tuweza combine strategic invest hapo weke nguvu kidogo yes. hapa jarash i want to tell you this and and kitu uh, i'll tell I'll, i'll tell the people who are watching and i want to repeat this i'm not a, a preacher but if you do good god blesses you and god blesses the work of your heart it doesn't matter how even if it take many years and if you do the opposite it happens to you kama sasa unaona i feel good naangalia kama mtu anani troll naangalia picha yake naona mask ile amevaa ni yangu kuna shindwa hizo mask tu ile jera ile amevaa ni yangu you see like now these ones you know when and you need to tell him uh, out there in the streets we have dust masks and we have surgical masks people need to dis differentiate between a dust dust mask and a surgical mask ukifungua dust mask katikati they are all made using the same fabric mm -hmm. ya, ya nje ya ndani na ya katikati yes. the same fabric but a surgical mask hapo ndani kuna ka fabric kenye kana ka ka unique inaitwa melt brown melt brown is like the filter ya virus na bacteria mm. so you might think you are wearing a mask but hiyo <laughs> ni a yes. eh, dust mask umevaa a dust mask so every time you buy a mask katanisha katikati fungua mm. karatasi ya ndani uone okay. ama yes. ni unique mm. alafu pia watu wengi hawajui ukivaa mask ako ka kachuma yes. yes this is so, called melt brown it protects you 99.8% so so hii unaona hii karatasi ya ndani ya ndani si unaona inakaa like akasavi ya tv mm. Mm. Hii, sasa hii ndio filter mm. This is the filter but wow. ukiangalia the fake ones ya nje ina ka okay. hivi mm. ya ndani iko hivi sasa haina hii haina hii so please ukinunua mask kwa street make sure iko na the filter and that's why otherwise the, you'll be wearing a dust this mask this nose kazi yake unafinya hivi ina kuwa na shape ya nose mm. ili iko protect uh, nini kuingia na upande yes yeah. na Sijuka utanikubali niseme bei yake. Ongea ongea. Yes. Yes. This is an opportunity for yes. you also. You know when you come to Bonga na Jalas I'm yes. always also giving people opportunity. Yes, yes. talk about. This mask uh, the X factory price nimepunguza bei and for the box of 50 it is 800 shillings. Wow. This is called a melt brown which is inatumika even these things I'm, I'm exporting them back abroad. Mm -hmm. Switzerland and US. You know US it is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Kenyans who in US are buying from me here in Kenya. Then we have others that are not don't have melt brown is also now 550 x factory price. Now maybe But those are dust masks. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. but sasa because kuna watu wale wale wazi afford ili mtu asikue hana but these are the best with melt brown you can check that brand um, and that's what we are doing and we are doing this to support the country too. How many people have you guys employed yeah, so right. far at the nini at the factory? Over 250. 250. Yes. How many people at Bonfire? Bonfire they are 200 right now maybe the the ones that are like full time and we have yes. not retrenched any anes wale tu wamepata shughuli zingine you know after corona kuna watu wa mtu alienda zake kuna watu wamejua kuuza maybe vitu zingine but uh, we the, the the full time on the payroll are around 150 yes but in different areas we have different people from Mombasa mm. to Mount Kenya like do you know the mountain climbing guides we have 60 yes because ukipanda mlima kuna 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 porter kuna cook mm. na kuna guide mm. so for every ka group mm. wanaendanga na watu wanne mm. so we have like 60 people but right now wengi wako wako nyumbani kuza so kuna watu wakupanda mlima na. kama ni Mombasa we have almost close to like 100 wow. our taxi drivers were transfer buses nini 
So, but those ones are paid on as job comes. The, uh, yeah, yeah. Ni, ni kama kibarua. Mm. So, tukienda Dubai pia, tuko na watu wengi sana hao wa kibarua, wa, 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 as per job. Mm. Now, all those right now, they mm. are not feeding. So, in total, like in all our destinations, uh, now we have payroll at 150, but maybe another almost close to 1,000. Wow. When you wa, wa, wa mm. mkono, but <sighs> every day, they handle our guests. And so, the, but most what? of them now... When you go somewhere, you know these people, your effort, you know you feel you feel blessed. You wouldn't be you would be any una feel any how to the effort that Nafanya Nikilala working for Jarasi Kunakitusi Kukwambia. When that business yet will answer, business ilienda chini tena. Do you know me and Sarah worked wakati nilikuwa ni me resign job? Then this is Nikona a new wife. Nik so that's Sarah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh Nikona <laughs> Nikona <laughs> Nikona a business, ni medicine job. Mm -hmm. Na Sarah nikuwa medicine before. Then this is Kakua Baya. Do you know we used to work for eighteen to twenty hours in a day? For like a year. Mm. We used to 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 nafanya the whole day. To nakula up nagwa jena. Then after that, to narudi kwa office in Rawak Mpaka as we five. Then, mwatu wakikuja job, tunaenda nyumbani tunarala for two or four, five hours, tunarudi job. We did that for one year. Guys, pahali kufika, it's, okay, we, are, we might call ourselves a little bit successful, but not as much. We are not yet there. Guys, I'm not yet We there. are not yet there. I'm not yet in my, yes. uh, my castle. He told me that one day, wachana na hiyo nyumba, I'll build your castle. One time. So we are not yet there. So, but, but we, we are still, in wakikuyo anasemanga, no kugeria. No kugeria. Yes. <laughs> yes. Eh, eh. Alafu, <laughs> it is, this, the, whatever we are calling, wacha tuite success in quotes, mm -hmm. because we are not successful. Mm -hmm. That kidogo eco, it has been messy, it has been sweaty, it has been bloody, but fruity. Wow. Usi, usi danganyo ya tutaka kwa nyumba, what do you do? Eja, just wajani kwambie, online, when we go online, I'm going there to look for business. Not to, not to do, not, to troll, not ati, even ati, troll. Leo, troll, leo, leo troll. jalaza mebadia nini, uh, mm. wacha nijue vile nita troll, you know, no, like. No, no, even if you want uh, to troll, it is okay. Yeah. Mm. But, just know, are you using social media for your own growth? Ask the, answer that question. Yourself, who do you listen? Am I using social media for my own growth? Yes or no? If it's no, what is it that you, even if not in the side of the are you learning from the social media? Kusoma tu alone. Even which pages do you follow? You know, utakuta watu wengine, you know, like, Unakuta unafollow hizo pages tu za, za nonsense, chat, chat, sijui wanaitu nini, but ni, ni, ni kudiscuss udaku. You know, like, even if you are following those, are you following a serious page ka, that you can be learning something new, yes. you know, that can build your life? Ama tu ni iyo udaku wati you are, you are there to see Sarah alikuwa mevaria kia tu inakaa aji ama sijui ni. You see, after mm. kuyona, after kuyona so what? Mm. And I want to encourage people, even if you are from a bed sitter, we value you and you are important as any other person in the mm. mansion. Mm. By the way, I would like to tell si people Simon, I... I Mi unajua jana angu mi sangine ni kienda hapo, natakanga kuwajibu hili. Like, like, wajue, like, I am reading what they are saying. So, uh, na, then I see people now, maybe I would say in my level, starting to tell me, please don't respond to them, to those rats. You know, they are typing from a bed sitter. When we started, I was also typing from a bed sitter. You know? But now I'm typing maybe from a mansion and soon maybe I'll be typing from a castle, you know? Sanitary. <laughs> Sarah and I don't be same. Sarah, Sarah, at my Sarah, cost. Sarah, Sarah, like, bigger, queen, bigger. Sarah, what are you doing? So, Sasa, mm -hmm. uh, if you are typing from my bed sitter, mm -hmm. please. Just know that you, mm -hmm. we value you mm -hmm. and we want to resonate with you until mm -hmm. you start thinking of how one day you'll be typing from your castle or your ranch or your beach house or whatever penthouse maybe you dream and about. And it will happen. It if will I came happen. from a Makanga to who I am now, anyone can make it. Wow. Talking about anyone can make it. Today, you know, I run a company also called Tripigo Tours. Me and a few partners who called me as a brand ambassador, but I got myself and now I'm part of them and we're a family. But today I said I'll shelve that down 
and take this opportunity to share some of the great deals that you can get from Bonfire. And this is to any destination. They've already opened their Dubai route. You've seen Kabi Wajisas uh, already enjoying Akoko, their, Akoko. their trip in Dubai. Then we have their Masai Mara is happening and it's huge. They actually, the first, first people to start taking people to the national park mm -hmm. and all that. So go out there, check the bonfire deals. You can see what is running on the screens right now. The bonfire deals that are out there. Make sure that you book. This thing is a very big cake that all of us can have. Wasafiri, yes. wasafiri, wakowengi, people wanting to go on holidays. I've seen so many other tours, companies yes. coming up, but yes. today we are focusing definitely on Bonfire, which is one of the first companies to ever start all these great deals uh, before even some of us got ourselves into this. Check out Bonfire pages on Facebook, on Instagram, and see some of the deals that you can grab. They have the weekend getaways, they have the beach, to us, they have the parks, they have every other thing that you'd want. And like we say, the only people who will make sure that we bring back our tourism industry are ourselves. Wa Kenya Safirini. For the first time, the wild bees zile kwazina crossed na mnahizi kasimama. Kai! Hakuna watu. Hakuna watu kume watu mehusi juu ya magari. And that is encouraging kwa sababu magari zinaenda masaimara well, check out the deals on Bonfire. Then again, I would easily tell you the best way to make sure that you get your amazing, amazing shout outs uh, from your favorite celebrities is what we call Mbogi. Mbogi is the shortest way for you to have your amazing favorite celebrities send you a quick shout out and uh, birthdays, anniversaries and all this. Like the few celebrities that already signed up on Mbogi on the video that is running. Hi Maureen, how are you? Your boyfriend uh, loves Hi Maureen, how are you? Your boyfriend uh, loves you so so much. I just want to say congratulations to www.house.com And I'm here to wish you a happy anniversary. And I'm just here to encourage you. I'm here 20 years. Now you have a boyfriend who loves you so so much. Happy birthday to you. And she says just be strong, the business will pick up and everything will be okay. So it's your boy, your guy, the top of Gobina, the only man who's been arrested for dressing to kill. DJ Love Cut he mix Yapon in Tamu. Is it your birthday? Is it an anniversary? Is it a congratulation? Is it a quick recovery that you want somebody? Go to mbogi.co.ke, choose the celebrity, book them to do something amazing, amazing for you. And definitely looking all good courtesy of Divine Collections. Nasaizi ni masweta tu, baridi ya Nairobi meongezeka, and everybody is dressed warm. Check out Divine Collections at uh, uh, Arcade, uh, 53 Arcade, just after Yaya, or at the Quick Mart on uh, uh, at lovington make sure that you call them like the numbers that are running down and make sure that you you dress dress really warm just as we are closing up this amazing interview i would just want to start with simon yes okay uh, ladies first sarah, yeah, ladies first. <laughs> sarah back to you yes, uh, uh, yeah you closing down and just encouragement and just your conversation mm -hmm. and what you taken out of this and the journey so far yeah, so for me, I think I would like to encourage everyone who has been disoriented this COVID season. Uh, maybe you had a job and you, you are laid off, uh, or maybe you had a business and it closed down, and, uh, uh, and now maybe like you, you, you have started something new and you are not sure. Like, I would like to encourage you that Bonfire to the wa post-election. So many tour companies closed that 20... It was post-election violence. Uh, uh, 207. Yeah, 207. So 208, when we started, so many tour companies closed. But that is when we started, and, you know, we, we became big. So 
uh, if you have started any business in any area, whether it is in tourism or even some now have left tourism and are doing other things, mm. I would like to tell you that you can make it because as we made it in the middle of crisis, make sure you, you come back bigger, better, and of course, uh, leave the rest to God because there is enough for everyone. Like in tourism, mm. uh, I think uh, around 20% uh, out of 40 million of Kenyans are able to, like 25% are well off, they are able to go for a holiday. That brings to 10 million people who can be able to go for a holiday. At Bonfire, maybe the months that we are usually very busy, we usually serve around 10,000 clients. 10,000 clients, uh, even out, of if, 10 uh, out of 10 million, <laughs> even if we were to handle 10,000 clients a month, in the whole year we would handle 120,000 clients out of 10 million. So there is enough for everyone, whether even as people are shutting down tourism, there is even an opportunity in tourism. Even as events are closing down, there is still an opportunity in small luxury events because the event is closing up those big events but we are now going to small cozy events like if you're doing a wedding you just do a small one then make sure that like the rest of the viewers can view it online uh, you know so this as as the There's people with we, everywhere. everywhere as the people with the big things the events are closing down it's also an opportunity for other people to start up with with newer ideas that are now together with the technologies that mm. are happening right now. So don't give up. I believe this. Siju Inani Usebanga, we have a property show that there's someone for everyone. There's, there's something for everyone. Yes. So I believe <laughs> even as things are hard, like in the worst thing you can do is to, to sit there feeling sorry for yourself. Mm -hmm. Even us, when we, we didn't, one week before we closed in March, we didn't believe that we would ever close. But when we sat for two, three weeks, you see, of course, him, he, 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 he woke up very fast and moved on. And for me, I also had to think of now, what can I do? And I started farming, I'm do, and I'm doing farming big time, uh, that is seedlings. If you need, uh, I'm doing fruit farming. If you need a seedling, uh, any any seedling, please talk to me because we have nurseries with avocados, mangoes, uh, so on. And we are hoping that very soon we will also start doing the exotic fruits like grapes. You know, you know all those exotic fruits. So if you have a farm somewhere Jarango, umenunua shamba tu imelala somewhere uko ushago. Talk to me. Nita kupelekea seedlings za any fruit. Asante. Mpaka, mpaka uko na zipandwe. Uh -huh. Yes. And you also had an mm. brand ambassador for Stanbik Dada. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I want to make sure that even your wife, I don't know if she already has an account, <coughs> but she needs to join the Dada network. Mm -hmm. um, it's a network for ladies uh, there, uh, there, there to aspire and there to achieve. Mm. So it's about sisterhood for ladies to come, network, and also learn uh, as you run your account. So that bank account is very important. Very soon I'll be telling you stories on my Instagram and YouTube of what this Dada account has done for me. It has. If you're in business, you need to have an account that, that cares for yes, that cares for women. Mm. You know, so, so, for you. yes. So like for us, we are enjoying the Dada benefits uh, as Bonfire because of, because of my accounts. Uyu anakulia tu... Anakulia, uh, you know... Uh, dada. Yes, Dada. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in business, make sure you have a Stanbic Bank Dada account. Thank you so much. Yeah. Saimu. Now, to, to crown it all, first <laughs> to I, it all. I want to say thank you to my wife, Sarah, my partner in crime, my partner in, in, in uh, business. And I would like to encourage everyone, guys, um, as I said earlier, that uh, the worst thing that you can do is to lose hope, especially this time. Everything happens for a reason. And you can come from this place to that place, but you just need to know it cannot be instantaneous. You know, there are people say, pap, mm. success is not a one-time event. It's a progression. You need to baby steps, 
you eh, you first crawl baby steps then unasimama unaanza kukimbia the mistake that you do is to expect things to have pop it will never happen you need to know that in a success you need to it is bloody it is messy then but fruity sweaty but in the long run it is fruity juicy and juicy but you need to know you need to that uh, progression i think i like to say is that um, you need a mentor whoever you are you need a mentor Somebody i w- you- i recommend them to go to tdjx youtube like for me i've learned a lot from yes. it uh-huh. you yeah. need a mentor someone you look up unto whether someone you you are able to talk to not necessarily someone you can be able to learn then let's use our social media to enlighten ourselves another thing that i like just to uh, as i conclude is that whatever you are doing whatever you are doing do it to your best what does that mean even if you are doing wherever whether you are employed or doing whatever it is do it to your best because even when you are do it on your own you'll just have learned that whatever you are doing if if you are driver drive someone's vehicle very well because when you get yours you'll ha- if you drive it badly you have gotten used to that as a habit and you'll be able to drive yours badly that's what i like to say and uh, as as i conclude i like to say uh, I, i'll be having some uh, i'm having some uh, mentorship uh, classes online okay because that's that's the best i can do to people people every time ask me simon give me money start a business you know you have to start small and progressionally grow and let's all of us know how to use our social media for the betterment of ourselves including learning wow educate yourself get knowledge that will help you to be a better person in future and as i said let's all thank god for whatever and thank god for whatever small that uh, uh, he has got whatever a lot he has given us even give, giving us health and life it's quite important wow Dalaj. that is the story of the kabus the amazing kabus follow them on their social media pages Sarah Kabu verified Simon Kabu verified the Kabus on a YouTube channel make sure that you follow of Bonfire and check out their deals and definitely now he is making the mask out yes. there and uh, kuna zenye amesule uh, nitakupatia hizi jalash eh eh upatie team yako uh, my and team uh-huh. yes that number can i give it out yes, number yes. mask yeah, yeah, number 07 uh, if mm-hmm. you want to buy this mask uh, mm-hmm. either to sell you have a tender mm-hmm. you have a, a school or and no fees you need to supply uh-huh. i'll give you x factory price of 800 that one and 550 for the patiana like. number 0704 300000 that's the number wow yes thank 0704, you 0704300 thank you 000. thank you so much and definitely the grapes and the fruits will be coming out very time soon ukitaka seedlings ingia pale kwa dm october mvua inaanza eh yes how ni wana biashara we did not finish this interview i'm telling you eh is soon and very soon tutabiwa nguo za watoto zinapatikana wapi ndini everywhere but it's been amazing amazing this is jalango tv and this is bonga na jalas amazing conversations with people changing the industry and changing lives one day at a time thank you thank you so much and god bless you Hey what's up people come on come on okay it's your boy Daniel Bitsaweke hashtag the deputy president of Wakanda and of course una watch Bonga na Jalasco streets na leo topic yao leo ni moto mbaya wase wengi wako pale online wana post mabest yao wana post madem wao nataka tunataka kwenda streets ile za wase kama uko na chalia ama uko na bwana unaweza post online na unafikiriaje juu ya story hebu twende tusikie wase wanasemaje nasema mi loyalty is the key mi post dem wangu eh yani kum appreciate tu yani na ukipuki post na watu waonge vibaya umekubali watu waonge juu kipost kitu online na maanisha umekubali watu wasema kitu yote juu yake juu mwe post watu waone eh yeah. sana uh, unajua maumbile maumbile ni kitu ya god so unapo unapo uh, post kitu alafu msao onge negative maanisha anaenda against god <laughs> unacheki <laughs> siko unanielewa eh yeah, so mi 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 appreciate hata kisema nini masikio yake iko aje na ni hivyo ndo god alimuumba so tu isienda against god siwezi taka hizo discouragement unaweza post alafu unapata mwingine anasema wow oh, unafanya nini na bwana wangu whatever <laughs> so i can't acha tukaivo kwa giza hata yasi ni post 
tukai tu hivyo mkae kwa gizi mhm totoro yes what is impossible i think it's kind of childish cuz what happens between you and him should be between you and him whether you're dating someone we are not interested cuz at times okay i'm single so at times what we feel all up all up all up nigga i'm she's single <laughs> at times we feel like you're trying to show us you better than us you get so it's kind of stupid so at any is of it you wouldn't post your chali yako ndo wademona mwana mtaka manzee waone eh kumbe amechukuliwa msijaribu kwenda hapo moto If he's with me he should know I don't share so hata kama kuna targets share your number share your number 07 u post aina shida but namkiacha na tata na vile uko umechocha uko online at you goals but anyway posting in a dependence sometimes people want to be private zingine unataka tu kuko mtu labda ni birthday yake to make them feel special so simba ina dependence mimi na za post mtu you're not posting so that to mark territory yako ah ku mark territory wa ku cheat ni wa ku cheat wa kutoka nje na kutoka nje so either way wa kutoka na kutoka tu mi musa mupe nanga ku kanga life yango private so saki kila mtu ajue mali niko eh like so naweza mweka private kiasi mi naweza post hizo vizuri zangu za biz so kwa online mimi ni mtu wa biz ndio kama mtu ananijua sana ndio atajua mpaka kapolo wangu so akitaka kujua mtu una date lazima kujue na come close see you online uh, see you see online that's part of my private life i don't think i can post my person online but for anyone who does that and is comfortable it's okay i have no problem with that ngora maneno zenu msitulete mtandao Usilete mambo yenu hapa mtandaoni. Kitu mwafanya pale kwa kitanda kangarukot usitulete si tuone. On special occasions. No, Why? Not every time. Not every time because kuizi kuna a lot of cyber bullying so nam protect. Hiyo eh, nafanya juu nam protect. Being niko pale mimi ndo niko kwa eh, niko kwa public ya yuko kwa public. So uh, nikifanya hivyo nam protect. Hiyo si ndio inafaa. Koko na demo na kana demo na muweka ndio kwa kuna mwingine pia wa juane pia unajua <laughs> umesema watu wa juane online ah si ndio hivyo si ile ati kwa matanga tio kumbe ilikuwa na wife mwingine manze <laughs> ilafa wote wa juane na mnashika family yako utaweza wote hakuna issue we hebu ni postini nyinyi wote bwana ndio ni wajue bwana There you have it guys manzi mmesikia wenyewe wasio nasema kwa streets wasio wengine wanasema manzi ukipost chali yako hiyo ni mtoto wewe unafikiriaje wengine wanasema ni poor post ndo wasio wajuani <laughs> ni noma hapa kwa streets na kwambia Nairobi ogopa but bro skiza kama uko na comment yote abu comment hapo chini uniambie wewe mwenyewe mwenye una watch ungepost chali yako ungepost din yako ama unafikiriaje dio history wasio kupost ni mtoto ama una ni poor wasio post bye bye